Hey guys, SRB Animate here. Before I start the video, I just want to remind you to leave a like, as it helps this video in the algorithm. Also, please subscribe to see more videos like this. It's free, but it means a lot to me. Anyways, enjoy. Looks like there's another commercial break. I really need to find a way to watch Ice Road Truckers ad free. You know, I've had a hankering for beer for a while, so now's the perfect time to go grab one. Well, all out again. Guess I'll need to go to the grocery store to buy more beer. Oh Lord Almighty. Okay, here we go. Hey, what does this say? Enter in our contest for a chance to win an all-inclusive trip to Aruba for four? Well, that actually sounds kinda interesting. Even though I'm absolutely certain I won't win, it's worth a shot, so I guess I'll buy this then. Holy sweet Jesus, I've drinking so much beer that I almost forgot about that contest for that trip. To Aruba. I'm going to enter now. La 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 la, I love wasting my time entering in contests. I know for a fact I won't win. Like it's so nice having the TV all to ourselves for once. Yeah, Fred has been real quiet lately. Hopefully he isn't up to no good again. <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Yes! Well, I spoke too soon. Well, I don't know what he's so excited about, but whatever it is, I'm giving him a piece of my mind. Good luck not getting a concussion. Fred, shut the hell up. What are you even so excited about anyway? Wow Daphne, way to ruin my celebration. But anyway, I just won a free all-inclusive trip for four to Aruba in a beer contest, and so I get to finally have a break from you idiots. Wait, you're taking us on a trip to Aruba? That's totes exciting and I can't wait to go. No, you got it all wrong. You need to get your ears checked, because I literally just said that I'm the only one going on this trip. Literally every time we go on a trip, you absolute pieces of crap always find a way to ruin it, and so I'm not dealing with it again. That is so selfish of you, Fred. I've always wanted to go to Aruba my whole life, and- Oh my god, Daphne just shut up for Christ's sake. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to go to the travel agency to book the trip. So you're the winner of that beer contest? Well congrats. Thanks a lot. Anyways. Can you start booking the trip now? Of course, but before I can do that, I'll need the full names of the three other people in your party. Um, I'm not sure I understand. Oh you didn't hear, the trip is for four people. Well I don't really need those three other bookings, because I'm booking this trip for myself only. Well I got some news for you buddy, you have to bring three other people on the trip with you otherwise you can't go and you'll lose the trip. <laughs> Wait, are you actually serious? Yeah, it's written in the TOS of the contest. Believe me, I don't like it either. Well screw that, just let me go on the trip by myself or else. Look buddy, if you don't go with those other people, the beer company will straight up not pay for the trip, so you'll either have to pick out those three people or leave. Oh my god, I have no words right now. Fine then, their names are Daphne Blake. Velma Dinkley, and Shaggy Rogers, and we also have a great name. 
Well I for one have had enough of Fred's selfishness. How about you guys? Yeah, I agree with you Daphne. Like it's a shame Fred won't take us all to Aruba. I wish we could go there and have some fun. Boy do I have some news for you. Fred, what's the meaning of this? You literally almost broke the door doing that. Well, I just went to the travel agency to book my trip to Aruba, only for them to tell me that I have to bring three other people with me otherwise I can't go. So, you guys will be coming on the trip with me whether you like it or not. Oh, and the hotel we're staying at allows dogs inside, so Scooby, you will be coming with us too. Well that's great. We get to go on a nice trip to the Caribbean and we don't need to spend any money or do something illegal in the process. OMG OMG this is totes amazing. Thank you so much friend. Like Zedinx. Yeah. What Daphne said. Thank you so much for reconsidering. Well I didn't have much of a choice, so I don't know why you're thanking me. Just start packing your bags already, our flight is leaving tomorrow morning. Now, this is epic. And poof. There goes any possibility of a good vacation. Wow, I have a terrible feeling about this. Like hey Fred, there was a sign that said there was a McDonald's at the next rest area. So huh, like, can we- Oh hell no. Our flight literally leaves in two hours, and you and Scooby just had an ungodly amount of leftovers at the house. Also, I don't want you getting my van dirty. So no, I am not going to McDonald's. Just suck it up and move on. Oh come on, I bet Daphne and Velma are also craving some McDonald's too, right guys? Actually, I'm not even hungry right now since I already ate at the house as well. Yeah, same here. Well, there you go. Literally you and Scooby are the only ones wanting McDonald's right now, and there's no way I'm stopping and wasting 20 minutes of my life just for you. Oh, and now's a good opportunity to detox from McDonald's, because judging by how addicted you are, that trash is slowly killing you as we speak. So just deal with it. No, I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm taking control of this van and taking us to McDonald's. Shaggy, please don't. Shaggy, what are you doing? Shaggy, get your hands off the steering wheel right now. No, I'm getting my McDonald's and that's final. But you don't even know how to- Hey, how's it going guys and welcome to Best Trends. Today we're gonna be going over five Fortnite YouTubers who've sworn. Oh my god, oh my god, Shaggy stop the van right now. No freaking way, you better addictive psycho, says you. <laughs> wow, thanks a lot Shaggy. You literally crashed the van into what looks like the airport. If we weren't in the airport right now I would be so giving you a concussion for this. Like Zanx, I'm sorry Fred. Well? Since we're at the airport right now I guess we should start checking in. I doubt the cops would be after us since Fred is the concussion beast after all. Yeah, I guess we should. Our flight leaves in an hour and a half, so we should get going now. Just a normal day with the Scooby gang. Fred, why did you have to book us on cheap seats again? Well genius. That's what the contest and the travel agency booked us, so there wasn't very much I could do about it. Wow, what a numbskull. Attention passengers, welcome to Oranjestad, Aruba. Local time is 2.29pm, and the temperature is currently 90 degrees Fahrenheit with sunny weather. We will be approaching the gate shortly, so in the meantime, please remain seated with your seat belts fastened. Attention passengers, we have now arrived at the gate. However, passengers heading towards the Candace Resort are kindly requested to disembark before anyone else. As the bus heading towards the Candace Resort will be leaving very shortly as this flight is delayed. Oh my god guys we are gonna be late for our bus. Come on guys, hurry. Okay guys. Let's just go to customs already, there's no rush yet. Like let's not forget Scooby. Of course. Okay guys, may I see your passports please? Okay Shaggy, do you have that blue pouch with the passports? Like a- uh, uh, What did you do with the passports? Tell me right now or it's concussion time. Uh, my, 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 I left them on the plane by accident. 
We were in such a rush that I didn't notice. Wow. Just wow. Shaggy, you're such a freaking idiot. That's it. I'm going back on the plane to look for them. Well, I hope you end up finding your passports. Excuse me, have you seen a blue pouch anywhere? It was somewhere near here. Oh, I'm afraid you're all out of luck. I just threw that pouch away, and I regret to inform you that you can't retrieve it anymore. Did that pouch contain any valuables? No it didn't. Oh, well that's a relief. But you know what it did have? It had our freaking passports in there. Thanks a lot for ruining our trip. Well, I'm getting out of here. Screw you idiot. Aren't you going to go to customs first? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Un, freaking, believable. What was that all about? What did they do to our passports? Oh yeah, that's the neat part. They threw out our freaking passports. Thanks to Bundle Shaggy for ruining our trip. Like please don't give me a concussion for this. No, it's fine. I have another plan. Well, whatever this plan of yours is, you are not entering the country without passports. Fred, just tell us, what is this plan you're thinking of? This. Everybody run. Hey, get back here right now. Fred, are you insane? You are not allowed to breach the border like that. Shut up, Velma. Don't act like you're not doing it yourself as well. Whatever, I'm staying in the airport and reporting you guys for this. If you do that, then I am going to freaking kill you. I'm not kidding. I will find you one day and murder you. Like can we go find Scooby now? Yes, we can go find Scooby now. I'll go find him. Come on Scooby, let's get out of here. Okay. Alright, we got Scooby, now let's get out of here. Fred, aren't we gonna get our luggage? No, it's either this or us getting arrested. If you had anything valuable in there, then it's your loss. Okay, so what now? I don't know. If we go back to the airport, we'll definitely get found out and sent back to the GA Republic. Any ideas? Well, we're pretty far away from the airport now. So we might as well flag down a taxi and have them send us to the resort. Well I guess you have a point Velma. I'll go find us a taxi. OMG OMG OMG. This hotel suite is so freaking luxurious. It's so modern and the view is amazing. Yeah, it is Daphne. But if this were my money being spent right now, I would be having a heart attack. Well, according to my calculations, this hotel suite costs around $1,200 per night per person to stay in. So it's great that we got all of this luxury for free. Yeah, it is Vilma. So now that we're here, can we uh, get some food or what? Hell no. It's not even dinner time yet, so I'm afraid you're going to have to wait. Fred, can we at least go when dinner time eventually comes? Yeah. According to my calculations, dinner time is at 7 p.m., which is approximately 4.173782764782368762267226 hours from now. Yeah, so once it's dinner time, can we go get some food? Yes, Daphne. Yes, we can. I just had to open my stupid mouth. Well, huh, I expected this restaurant to be a buffet or something. Well, we're already here. So we might as well just stay. Well I for one really like the mood of this restaurant. I can't wait to take pictures of my food and post them on Instagram so I can get lots of likes. Shut up Daphne, no one asked for your opinion. Oh come on, you and your negativity. 15 minutes later. Well, took them long enough. Fred, it's only been around 15 minutes. It wasn't that long you know. Yeah, and the only thing that matters is the food being good. Right Fred? Well. Guess I'll put it to the test. Oh my freaking mother of god. It tastes so freaking bad. You know what? That's I see. I can't contain my anger. I'm going to smash this entire table to take out my anger and there's absolutely nothing you can do about IT. <laughs> uh. 
there. That's what this trashy restaurant deserves. OMG friend, I can't believe what you just did. Thanks to you, there's no doubt we're gonna get kicked out at this point. I can't believe you either. Who knows how much money we need to pay in damages now. Daphne and Velma, just shut up. Okay, that's quite enough. You and your party are banned from this restaurant for the rest of your stay. But we didn't even... Shut your mouth and just leave already. Okay, fine. Fred, I can't believe you got all of us banned from the restaurant. Why on earth did you feel the need to do that? Well, it was because the food there was atrocious. I did you all a favor by getting us banned from that restaurant, so I don't know why you're complaining. Well, Ms. Flash, we actually enjoyed the food at that restaurant, so you didn't do us all a favor. You did us all a disservice by doing what you just did. Whatever. Let's just get ready for bed now. It's starting to get dark. Okay, whatever you say, psycho. Shut your mouth. So, did you hear about those four people that breached the border at Queen Beatrix Airport yesterday? Yeah, I have. Actually, my higher-ups just sent me and the rest of the staff an email saying that those people booked a suite here, and to call the police if we see them. We have tried knocking at their room door, which is room 69 over there, trying to get a response out of them, but to no avail. Well then, I hope they find them soon. <laughs> Oh my god, oh my god, everyone wake up. We have an emergency on our hands. Zerinx, like what is it? Jinkies, what on earth is going on? I just overheard a conversation outside, and I heard a staff member say that the hotel is looking for us. We need to get out of here while we can. Jeepers. Let's get out of here now. Try not to make too much noise or they'll find us out. Okay, it's a relief we weren't caught. Well, shall we hide somewhere until dawn? We can't really do anything since everything is closed right now. Sure, Velma. I see some shrubs just beside us, so we'll hide there until around 10 a.m. Like okay. Good God, that was absolutely terrible. I felt like I was gonna get eaten alive by all the bugs. So like what are we gonna do now? Well guys, according to my calculations, there is a cool looking art gallery just half a mile west of here. What do you guys think? I hate art galleries. There's no way I'm wasting two hours of my life there. I don't know, an art gallery sounds kind of fun. Then I could probably get some cool pictures for my Instagram. Same, I could actually go to an art gallery for once. Count me in. Me too. Well, looks like you're outnumbered again you absolute moron. Literally all of us want to go to this art gallery and you're just like- We are not going because I hate art galleries. So I'm afraid you're just going to have to suck it up. The only thing I'll be sucking up is your internal organs with a vacuum cleaner if you don't shut the hell up. And fine, we'll go to the stupid art gallery. Seriously, why are you always so negative? Shut up. Well, you guys can just go look at the artwork yourselves. I'm just gonna roam around the gallery in search of anything remotely interesting. Okay, we will. It will be good getting away from Mr. Negativity for once. What an insufferable piece of crap. Oh hey Fred, how are you enjoying the art gallery? Revenge is coming Daphne. See? You're just proving my point on how negative you are. And you know... You are the reason why this trip is going horribly in the first place. And why is that? You are the one who came up with that genius plan to breach the border to begin with. Thanks to you, now the entire island is after us. Well I for one think it's all Shaggy's fault for leaving that blue pouch on the plane and having the crew throw out our passports. Zerinx. Like I wasn't the one in charge of the passports, you were. Yeah Fred, Shaggy's right. You were the one who was responsible for handling our passports to begin with. And you conveniently handballed that responsibility to Shaggy when you found out they were lost. And how freaking dare you accuse Shaggy of such a thing like that. I can't believe- SHUT UP! Look, I don't care what you guys say or think. All that matters is that we are in Aruba for freak's sake. 
Now let's just enjoy this trip to the best of our abilities while we can. Guys, you need to leave. I don't even have a freaking reason to be here anymore, do I? Screw you idiots. Oh, just shut up please. Frick off. Fred, this is the second time we've been kicked out of somewhere during this trip. You seriously have gone insane. Yeah Fred, this is outrageous. Literally every time we go on a trip, you ruin it for us. You think I like ruining trips? Well look who's talking. Anyways, what should we do next? Like I saw a sign on our way here that said there was a beach nearby. Maybe we could like, go there. Yeah, I'm down. Me too. Me three. You know, that actually sounds like it could be fun. I'm down, so let's get going now. Hey, you actually proved to something for once. Guys, I don't know about you, but I'm actually starting to enjoy this trip. See Fred? I told you you'd like it. Although, I don't know what we're gonna do about finding another place to stay. Hopefully we can find a BNB in Aranyestad or something. Oh, we'll figure it out. So, please describe these four people for me. So, this first guy was someone I actually recognized. He is this blonde guy named Fred Jones, also known as the Concussion Beast. Hey, I actually know that guy. Doesn't he have a gang as well, including a talking great thing? Yep, you got that right. And these four people were the ones who breached the border at Queen Beatrix, right? Yes, I saw them with my own two eyes at the customs there. Wait, I think I see them right there. Oh my god, you're right. Those punks are going to get what they have coming to them. Hey, I think I heard some military guys off in the distance. Hopefully they aren't coming after us. Alright, stop what you're doing and get on the ground. Oh my god, oh my god, everybody run. Jinkies, who the hell was that? That was the military. They finally caught up to us so we better run. So what are we going to do now? We can't only run so far. There's a car over there, so we should steal it and lose the cops from there. Wait, are you seriously going to steal someone's car? Yes, Velma. It's either this or us getting sent to the big house. Now steal the car with me or it's concussion time. They don't look like they're stopping Orval. We got some fast runners on our hands. And they look like they're stealing that car over there. Guess I'll need to call the chopper. Okay, we got a ride, so let's get out of here. Oh my sweet wonderful god they're sending in a chopper to get us. Can you drive any faster? I can't, the sand is slowing us down significantly. finally decided to wake up. Where on God's green earth am I? Well, you're not really on earth anymore, so let me explain. That car you stole in Aruba was destroyed by a missile, destroying you guys along with it. We then revived you guys with Go Animate Logic, brought you to the airport, and stuffed you onto a military contracted plane that will take you back to Go City. Well then, there goes the rest of our trip. You guys can go ahead and arrest me. I'm too tired to do anything for crap right now. Oh, arrest you. We've learned over the years that you are indeed the unstoppable concussion beast, and the cops and the Go Animate Republic military are powerless against you. Oh, well that's just a testament to how powerful I am. Not so fast there, Chief. We actually have a special punishment in lieu of incarceration just for you. We'll get it over with as soon as we touch down in Go City. Yeah, but what about the rest of us? Well you guys are off the hook, since you know, it was Fred's idea to breach the border after all. We'll be holding him in for a few days, so you guys can enjoy some Fred free time. Well that's a relief. Oh come on! You guys can't do this to me. So we can, and we're going to. Now keep your mouth shut or there will be dire consequences. Man, 
It feels so good to finally be back home, but I'm still pissed off about Fred cutting this trip short. Why does he always have to ruin trips? It's honestly ridiculous. Like I suck on that. I just wanted to have a good time in Aruba and we just had to breach the border and get a bounty on our heads. You know, I wonder what Fred's punishment is going to be. Hopefully it isn't so extreme that he goes on a rampage again. Oh, the POS will be fine. Whoa 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 guys, can we take this a little easy for a second? No can do Fred. We actually found the perfect punishment for you. You know how you're addicted to beer? Yeah, just tell me what you're going to do. We have this very fancy food here. Very nice, very expensive. And you know what we're gonna do with it. Whatever you're going to do, just do it for frick's sake. Okay. No! God! No! God! Please, no! 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 What do you mean you're foreclosing on my house? I mean we're foreclosing on your house. You literally haven't paid us in like two years, so this is our only option. Do you know how bad this is for me? I literally have nowhere to go now thanks to you idiots. Let me keep my house right now. No, you should have paid the mortgage if you actually wanted to stay here. Shut up. This isn't even my fault. It's all on my idiot gang members for always spending my money on crap. That doesn't matter. Now I'm going to say this once and only once, leave this house and take your things by tomorrow morning or we're calling the cops. Understood? Yes, I freaking do. Now f*** off. Wait. Oh my god, Fred. What was all that commotion about? Some guy from the bank came over and said they're foreclosing on our house and that we need to get out of here by morning or they're calling the cops on us. Well Fred, looks like those years of evading your mortgage are finally catching up to you. Shut up. I want you and the rest of the gang to get your crap packed for tomorrow or it's concussion time. Got that? Fine Fred, I'll also tell Daphne and Shaggy to start packing as well. Okay, I'll be downstairs getting wasted. Typical Fred move. I just came to the realization that we are now practically homeless. No. It can't be. Shut up, Daphne. I don't need you making the situation worse with your incessant whining. But in all seriousness, we need to find a way to get our house back or find somewhere else to live. Any ideas? Like why don't you just go on another game show like you did on Semster's channel? Shaggy. You should know by now that whenever such a thing goes through, Fred will eventually have a meltdown and give everyone concussions. Yeah, and you idiots will just find a way to make me lose all of the money, so I don't see why it's worth another shot. You know, Fred could probably find a way to get a crap ton of money from someone like Mr. Beast. <laughs> wow Daphne, how naive could you possibly be? What are the chances that Mr. Beast is gonna appear right here, right now and give me a bunch of- Mr. Beast! Oh my god, oh my god, it's really you. Even though I don't want your stuff that much, can you give me a bunch of money so I can pay for my house? Um, Mr. Beast, are you the- Ugh, he just flat out bailed on us. Might as well see what this is. I'd say there's around $10,000 in here. According to my calculations, our would-be house goes for around $1,289,323 at its current rate. That's not nearly enough money to get the house back. Dang it, I thought we would be able to pay the house back with the money Mr. Beast gave us, but that's okay. I have a better, foolproof plan to buy back the house. Please don't tell me it involves something illegal. No. It's fine, just chill. Crap, here we go again. What's up, bitches? You better give me my freaking house back for free or it's concussion time for all of you.
Hey guys, I got the house back. Fred, that's good and all, but I have to ask, how did you manage to get it back? Oh, I just went to the Go Bank headquarters and gave everyone concussions until they agreed to give us the house for free. Knowing I'm the concussion beast, they obliged, and now we have a roof over our heads again. What? Yeah, and best of all, the police won't come after us because they know I'm too powerful, so enjoy that. You have got to be kidding. There is no way I'm okay with you doing that. Well, too bad. It's all said and done now anyway. You know, you should be grateful I even went out of my way to give you shelter. It's either this or living on the streets. Well, that still doesn't make it right. Hey, I just realized, if you guys weren't stupid enough to spend my money all the time, I could actually afford to legitimately pay off the house. But you literally have- Oh my god, just shut up. You know what? I don't even care anymore. Let's just go back inside. I'm starting to get cold out here. You're right, Scooby. Let's just go in and forget this all happened. Man, there's nothing good on TV. I should really ditch cable- <laughs> Wow, that sounded like Daphne. What could the Neanderthal be up to this time? Daphne, what were you screaming about just now? Well, Fred, way to ruin my celebration like that. Anyways, I was screaming in joy because Taylor Swift is coming to Go City for a concert, and I found tickets for $2,000 each. Taylor Swift, seriously? Your music taste is something else. Oh, come on, you and your negativity. Oh. And if you're thinking of spending my money to go to your trashy concert, then the answer is no. I wasn't even thinking about spending your money, because in the end it will just result in a concussion or worse. Daphne, just shut up. Now let me get wasted in peace. You know, now that he mentioned it, maybe I should just use the money he got from Mr. Beast to pay for the tickets. I don't really care if I get a concussion or get murdered. I'll just respond to to go adamant logic. And as long as I get to see my idol perform live, then it's a win-win situation. But since the money we got from Mr. Beast was all in cash, I need to cash it into my bank account so I can pay for the tickets online, but Fred might get suspicious. Actually, I can just take whatever I need, then I'll exchange the remainder for mostly $1 bills to give the illusion that the money wasn't tampered with. It's perfect. Now time to go to the bank. Fred, like why do we have to watch Ice Road Truckers again? I'm starting to get kinda sick of it. Well, it's the only good show left on our cable network nowadays. Maybe I could actually afford Netflix if you guys stop spending my money. But Fred, Netflix is way cheaper than your cable package. If you're complaining about there being no shows on cable anymore, you should just cut the cord already. Shut up Scooby. Hey guys, great news. Oh, what is it Daphne? So, I got tickets for all of us to go see Taylor Swift this evening. That's awesome Daphne. Do they let dogs in the venue too? Yeah, there's a specific rule on the website that said talking dogs are allowed into the venue, and admission is free for them. Zarynx, like I've always wanted to go to one of her concerts to see what all the buzz is about. Yeah, I also want to see her. But let me ask, where did you get the money to get those tickets? I'm sure Fred would want to know that. According to my calculations, tickets to the concert in question go for as low as $2,125.37. So please, you better not have done what I think you did. Yeah Daphne, you heard her right. Tell me how you got those tickets right now or it's concussion time. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. I actually won the tickets in a sweepstakes posted on the website. Okay. But this still doesn't change the fact that I never even wanted to see Taylor to begin with. How far away is the venue? Um, it's around a four hour drive from here. Oh my god, for freaking hours? Are you actually freaking kidding me? There is no way I'm subjecting myself to such pain just so you can go to your trashy pop concert. Daphne, you better make it worth my while or I'll give you one million concussions and smash everything you own in the process. OMG Fred, chill, the, freak, out. I knew you were going to flip out when I said that, and I was going to say that I'll buy you a bunch of beer with every single penny I still have. Wait, I'll do anything for some good beer. Haha <laughs> Fred, I knew that would get to you. 
and this includes staying for the entire concert. Well, at least the beer will let me forget about the time I could have spent watching more Ice Road Truckers marathons instead of going to a concert I don't even have interest in. Okay then, so the concert's gonna start in about 5 hours, so I think it's best if we start leaving now. Good idea. So Daphne, are you 100% sure they allow talking dogs in the venue? They can't possibly have made a specific rule just for me. Um, you know what, I'm not actually sure, it may have been some sort of Mandela effect now that you mention it. Oh? Well, if they don't let Scooby into the venue, then let's just say things are going to get pretty ugly. Fred, we don't need another innocent person getting a concussion, do we now? Hey Fred, can we go and stop for some McDonald's real quick? No, just no. But Fred, I'm pretty sure McDonald's is actually cheaper than the concessions at the venue. According to my calculations, if we go by how much food Shaggy and Scooby usually order, we will save $307.21 if we just go to McDonald's. Fine, you wanna go to your trashy McDonald's? Sure, but if you even think about asking for food at the concert, then it will be concussion time. Got that? Like you Fred, we got it. Good. OMG OMG OMG. I can't believe I finally get to see Taylor after all these years. Shut up Daphne. I'm so freaking tired of dealing with your insufferable OMGs all the time. Fred, why do you have to be so negative? Let's just go inside the venue already and find our seats. Ugh, fine. OMG OMG I can't believe that's actually her right there. Oh my god, I can't believe this is real life right now. Come on Fred, just think of the beer. Surely it can't get any worse than this. Like hey Fred, can Scoob and I go and get some food from the concession stands outside? Oh my god, did you even freaking hear what I said in the car like 4 hours ago? You aren't getting any more food after the ungodly amount of McDonald's you got and that's final. If you bother me for food one more goddamn time I am going to give you a concussion and throw your unconscious body onto the stage. Got that? Oh my god Fred calm down. Dude, chill the freak out. You're ruining the concert with your incessant temper tantrums. Okay your majesty, I'll chill out, as long as you get out of my face. Wait. Did you seriously manage to sneak a dog in here? Dude, I'm a talking dog. I am no less intelligent than you or anyone else here. That doesn't freaking matter. Get the stupid mutt out of here now or I'm reporting you to security. No, you leave us alone right freaking now or it's concussion time. Fine then, I'm reporting you all to security to get you kicked out. I think I have a concussion. Somebody, anybody, please call me an ambulance. W. Uh, All right, now let's resume. Fred, you're insane. Now we're probably going to get kicked out before Taylor starts playing songs from Red. Shut up, Daphne. I'm the concussion beast, so it's all good. No, it's not all good. That guy looked seriously injured. You may have just practically killed the poor dude. Velma, just shut up. Why don't you get back to enjoying your trashy concert already? What? A. Hey, psycho. Ugh, just freaking end me already. OMG OMG I so need to brag about this on Instagram, I bet I'll get so many likes. You know, maybe I should also mention that I spent Fred's money on the tickets as well. It's okay because he doesn't use any social media besides YouTube. Did I seriously just say that out loud? Yes you freaking did Daphne. Please, say this is a joke right now. Um, 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 I hate to break it to you, but, um. Tell me the freaking truth right now or I'll skin you alive. Um, I, uh, might have taken the money you, um, got from, uh, Mr. Beast and, uh, Spent it all on the um trailer. I mean Taylor um Taylor Swift tickets. Zanks 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 like everybody run. Oh 
Taylor Swift concert. I could have spent that money for beer, and now it's gone away. <laughs> That's IT. I am going to destroy the stupid bandy with the mystery machine, and there's absolutely nothing you can do about IT. You all. Jinkies, we better get the hell out of here. Oh my god. Taylor, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. But what did I freaking tell you about letting criminals into my concerts? We're sorry Taylor, we didn't know. Bullcrap. Well that concert was pretty lit, wasn't it gang? It was lit before you had your meltdown and destroyed the entire venue. Fortunately Taylor Swift got out fine, but I can't say the same for most of the people in that concert. Fred. You just committed a very severe act of terrorism and I'll make sure you get held accountable for what you just did. Oh, and you are not getting any beer, simply because you took hundreds, if not thousands of lives you freaking psycho. Everybody shut up. The venue and whoever was killed will just respawn in the next episode anyway. Now everyone, get in the van and let's get out of here. No, we aren't getting in the freaking van. We're going to stay here and wait for the cops because that's what's right. Well, you guys can suit yourselves, but I'm just gonna drive away and there's nothing you numbskulls can do. SERG IT DOWN! SERG IT DOWN! SERG IT DOWN! Frick off. Wow, a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a a free e e e e e e e free falling lol Tom Petty reference a a a a a a a a a a a a No 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 Wait 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 Hey, look he finally decided to turn himself in. No idiot, my van exploded, which in turn launched me into the air. And then I crash landed in here. Let me out right this instant. No, we just heard about what you did at the Taylor Swift concert, and coupled with the fact that you gave everyone at your bank a concussion, I'm afraid you're staying in here. Wow. Just wow. When will you freaking learn that no jail is strong enough to hold me in? Therefore I'm just going to turn into a teeth guy and bust out like always. Oh no no no, Mr. Beast just came over and gave us 1000 cases of gourmet craft beer to torment you with by smashing it all in front of you. You know, just like that time you and the gang went to Araba. Alright, I'll go get the beer, you stay here and cause no trouble. No! Oh my god! No! 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 I love singing yay yeah, yeah, what the heck am I doing with my life yay yeah, yay yeah, subscribe to TTG a blaze yay yeah, yay yeah, yeah. Oh no. Dude, stop it with the shameless endorsements. Get out of here you walking billboard. <laughs> And that concludes tonight's show. We had quite a few winners tonight, some were absolutely amazing. Have an amazing night, everyone. I can't wait to see you all at the next show. Wow, that talent show was so good. I wish I could be there in real life. Ugh.
Why did I agree to watch this with you? If you would like to come to one of our talent shows, either as an audience member or an audition e, please visit www.gocitiesawfulandstupidtalentshows.com to enter. OMG Frank, did you hear that? We can enter into the talent show by signing up online. Can you please take me there? Oh my god Daphne. There is no freaking way on God's green earth that I am taking you to one of those idiotic talent shows. The show on TV is lame enough, you know? Well friend, I should have known that you would deny that offer almost instantly. You are such a lame piece of crap that your idea of entertainment is drinking beer all day long. This talent show is brought to you by Punishment Day Beer, a proud sponsor of Go Animate Network. All participants, audience members, and auditionees of our talent show are automatically entered into a draw for a chance to win a one year's supply of Punishment Day Beer. Oh my god Daphne. Did you hear that? If we go to the talent show, then I might win a whole year's supply of my favorite beer. Let's go to Velma's room to sign up for the show. Ha ha ha, I knew that would get to you. Oh, hi Fred. Hi Daphne. Why are you two so happy? Fred, I don't think I've ever seen you this happy before. Hey Velma. We are going to a talent show tomorrow. Oh cool. I've always wanted to go to a talent show in real life. But why are you so happy? Well... Well Fred, I'm not so sure about this one. According to my calculations, there is a 0.0032845% chance of you winning the beer. Even if all of us, including Scooby, went to the talent show, our chances of winning the beer would still be very 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 slim. You'd end up just wasting your time for nothing. Oh my god, Velma, I don't give two flying f**ks about your stupid calculations. I'm winning that beer and that's freaking final. Sign us up for the show now or it's concussion time. Oh my god, Fred, fine, I'll sign us up for the show. All gang members, we are going to go see the talent show that I was talking about yesterday. Report to the van immediately or it's concussion time. Alright gang, we are headed to the talent show right now. All I ask from you for is to not do anything dumb that will get us kicked out or you'll know what will happen. Like okay. Like hey Fred. Can you? Oh my god, you have got to be joking right now. Every time we go on these road trips, you always ask to pull over at McDonald's to get a thousand freaking metric tons of junk food. This, along with all the other unexpected freaking stops on these road trips almost always ends up in us being late for things or missing them entirely. There is no freaking way we are stopping for food again. You two are just going to have to deal with not having food for another half hour. Now leave me the f alone. Um, Fred, I wasn't going to ask you to stop for food. I was about to ask you if we could go to one of those rest stops on the highway to use the bathroom. Like I really need to go. I also need to use the bathroom. I haven't gone since this morning. Yeah, same here. I also need to go. Me too. Fred, can you please stop at the bathroom so we can all go? Fine, we'll stop at the bathroom. Just don't take too long or else. Wow. Just wow. I thought you guys would take like what, 10 minutes? To use the bathroom. But no, you guys took a solid half hour just to use the freaking can. I swear, if we arrive to the talent show late because of this, then it will be concussion time. Understood? OMG friend. You and your concussion time threats. Hello. I have five tickets to enter the talent show. I'm sorry sir, but after an incident that happened back in 2014, dogs are no longer allowed in our talent shows. Alright, Shaggy and Scooby, leave the building immediately or it's concussion time. And don't you dare get us kicked out, because I'll throw away your food if you do. Anyways, could you let us in now? Sure thing, go ahead. Enjoy the show. Why did I agree to this? Come on Fred, just think of the beer. Wow, 
I'm so excited. I so have to record this to post on Facebook. Hello Go City, welcome to today's talent show. We have many talents to show everyone today. Hey you, orange haired girl in the front row. You are not allowed to videotape the talent show, or use your phone at all for that matter. Put it away right now. Wow. Just wow. I can't believe I'm not allowed to videotape the talent show. You know what? I'm going to continue recording just for the hell of IT. That was an amazing performance from Felix White and his awesome band. Hey, orange haired girl in the front row. I told you to stop videotaping the performance so many freaking times, but you didn't listen. Because of this, I will ask you and the rest of your party to leave the venue immediately. Oh come on. Velma and I had nothing to do with any of this. It was all my idiot gang member Daphne's fault. It doesn't matter if you had nothing to do with any of this. Now leave before I call security. Honestly, I'd have to agree with Fred on this one. We literally had nothing to do with this and you're kicking us out. What sort of archaic rule is this? I'm sorry, but it's just the rules. Now I'm not going to repeat myself any longer. Leave. There. Venue. Now. Leave. No, I am not going to side with some stupid 50 year old rule that says that the consequences that my idiot gang member faces automatically applies to Velma and I. Now I'm going to say this once and only freaking once, we are not leaving the venue. Now let us stay or it's concussion time for both you and Daphne. Fine then, if you don't want to leave. Then I guess I'll call security to escort you and your party out of the venue themselves. How does that sound? Wait, Fred, stop. Do you wanna go, bro? Are you ready to catch these f***ing hands, you douchebag? Or will you let my idiot gang members and they stay? It's your choice, dummy. Security. Okay, looks like that's your choice. Now prepare to get so many freaking concussions that you will go flying through the ceiling in two blocks south of here. Get ready. And now, to teach you all a lesson, I am going to run the mystery machine into this idiotic venue so many times that once I'm done, it will be nothing but trouble. You all. There, my work here is done. Now gang, get in the van so I can get wasted so we can forget this all happened. OMG Fred, are you mentally insane or what? You literally destroyed possibly millions of dollars worth of property and might have also killed dozens of people. I'd agree with Daphne. Fred, do you realize how much trouble you put us in? I hope you feel good about yourself, you freaking psychopath. <laughs> Oh my god Fred, none of this is funny. You literally killed so many people and you're laughing about it. Get help. I'm not laughing about that, dummy. I'm laughing about your angry expression. Did I mention how funny it looks? It looks like you're just clenching your teeth. La 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 la. Are you serious? Ahem. Wow man, you've really gone off the deep end this time. First you destroyed my pink and purple car on Samster 5677 channel. I got a new car by the way, and now this. And what makes you think that you're the boss of me? Once again, I'm not buying your nonsense. Well basically. Oh, so you're an undercover police officer? What a coincidence, like what are the odds of- Get in the car right now or else you'll know what will happen. Okay okay, fine.
Wow, this is so amazing. I can't believe Fred finally got arrested. I know right, I can't wait to finally have some Fred free time. Wow, I never knew how good Fred free time would be. Same here, Velma. It really is nice to not hear. Oh, 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 It's concussion time. Every day. Like I agree with both of you. Scooby and I finally get to eat all our food without risking a concussion from Fred. I agree with you guys too. I finally get to eat my Scooby snacks in peace without that psychopath Fred's constant temper tantrums getting in the way of it. And the best part is, the air in all of the prisons in Go City nowadays have chemicals in it that prevent everyone from turning into a teeth guy or teeth girl. With that in mind, I don't think Fred will be busting out of jail anytime soon. This is so awesome. Gray, uh, 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 those freaking scumbags are so going to get it. G R R R R R R R R R R R R R R R. Oh no, that sounded like Fred. Daphne, I think you just jinxed it again. I have a feeling that we will be in for a very brutal concussion time from Fred in just a few seconds. Gray, uh, 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 How's it going dummies? I just busted out of jail and now it's time to get my revenge on all of you for being such idiotic gang members. OMG Fred, how did you even get out of jail without turning into a teeth guy? Don't know, don't care. Now forget the concussions, I'm going to beat you guys up so hard that you guys will be out cold until January. Gray <laughs> Concussion Army, it's Fred Jones here. Today we will be destroying some kids in Fortnite. Let's begin. Man, I am so cracked at this game. Take that you stupid sweats. Like hey Fred. Shaggy, I was in the middle of filming a video. What on God's green earth do you want? Like I was going to ask you if you could like take Scooby and I to McDonald's so we can get some food. Shaggy, two things. One, apparently your dirt spec sized brain can't tell that I'm making a video. Can't you see I'm busy? And two, every time you and Scooby go to McDonald's, you guys blow way too much of my money on unhealthy junk food. Now get out of my room right this instant or it's concussion time. Ah! Well Scooby, that was an epic fail. Yeah, I'd agree. Why does Fred have to be so mean and stingy? I wish we could give him a piece of our minds. Wow Scoob, that gives me an idea. Remember when we pranked Fred for April Fool's Day on Semster's channel? Well how about we do that, but on a higher magnitude? That sounds like a good idea. Let's go to our room and think of some ideas. Alright, so you know this guy named Fred. He has yellow hair and wears a white shirt and light blue pants. Oh, of course I do. He comes here every day. Alright, so Scooby and I have hatched this plan to prank Fred by telling you to not give him any beer tonight. We can even compensate you with his own money if you want. Say, how much money does he give you every night? Boom, I give him around $100 worth of beer every night. He gets so wasted it's not even funny. Alright, this should do. Alright, thank you very much. I'll get this plan underway once Fred comes in. I'll even threaten to call the cops if he doesn't get out. Alright, thank you very much. Yo what up Simon, can you give me a pint please? No Fred. I will not give you any beer tonight. Wait, why? I have been a loyal paying customer for years, and you're all of a sudden refusing to give me anything? Why are you doing this? I don't care. Now get out of my bar before I call the cops on you. Okay, whatever you say master. I am not coming here ever again. Man, it's going to be so funny to see Fred rage after what we did. I know right? This is going to be the best prank ever. I can't believe the bar owner completely ditched me. I am seriously going to murder him in his sleep tonight. 
Shaggy, why on earth are you laughing? Explain yourself right now or it's concussion time. Oh, like Scooby and I told the bartender at the bar to not give you any beer tonight. But it's just a prank bro, like everything is all okay. Oh good? No, I seriously cannot believe what you did tonight. You know I cannot go on living without my beer. And for all of this, it's concussion time for you and Scooby. Uh -oh. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to go play Fortnite on my computer. See you pieces of crap later. Man Scooby. Aside from us getting concussions, that prank was amazing. I'd agree. Say, how about we prank him again? That's a great idea Scoop, but say, how should we prank him again? I know. Since he plays Fortnite all the time, we could prank him by shouting stuff like insults and racial slurs in his microphone and hopefully get him banned from the game. Like that's a great idea Scoop. Like shall we get started? Yeah, let's do it. Man dude, you are so freaking bad at this game. You should really quit playing this game for good. Well how about you listen to me you sarcastic waste of oxygen. You do realize that I am cracked at this game and you are just jealous of my skills? Get a fucking life. Ugh, look who's here to bother me again. What do you want from me now? Oh, this is what I want alright. <laughs> well, now that that's over, let's continue playing. Shaggy, 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 you are so getting another concussion. Graham. Graham. Shaggy, how freaking dare you get me banned from Fortnite? That's it. It's concussion time, again. <laughs> Goodbye, you stupid idiot. You better not prank me again or else. Ouch. That really hurt. But hey Scoob, why don't we pull yet another prank on Fred? Sure, but remember to tell Fred that it's just a prank so he doesn't kill us, okay? Yeah Scoob, I will. And I know exactly how to prank him this time. We can throw away all of his beer and make him go crazy. How does that sound? Perfect plan. Let's do this. I'm going to go get some beer to forget that I live with a bunch of idiot gang members. Wait, what happened to all my beer? I swear I bought three whole cases of them yesterday. Ha ha Fred, we got you. Hey, what do you mean you got me? You better have not thrown away all of my beer. Well Fred, too bad for you, because Scooby and I threw away all your beer. Well Fred, we got you. But like don't worry man, it's just a prank bro. Fucking strong, I'm so done with dealing with all of your crap. I won't give you two concussions, because you will just regain consciousness, and continue to make my life a living hell. Instead, you two better come to the front yard now, or I'll beat you guys up until you die. Understood? Zerinx, like we're going there now. Please don't kill us. Um, Fred, like why is there a car right in front of our house? Well Shaggy, that's the main reason why I brought you here. That car is a new that will send you to Ohio, and you and Scooby will never be seen again. No 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 no. Please don't send us to Ohio. I don't think we'll ever make it out alive. I'm afraid that's the whole freaking point, and if you don't get your butts into that car now, I will obliterate you with a chainsaw instead. Okay, fine. Uh... I'm going to go talk to Shaggy and Scooby. HM, I haven't seen Shaggy and Scooby anywhere in the house. The only place I haven't checked yet is a friend, so I'll go check that. Oh no. I think Shaggy and Scooby have gone missing. Velma, get down here right now. Shaggy and Scooby have gone missing. Oh my god Daphne, is this for real? Unfortunately yes Velma. 
I hope we end up finding them soon. Heck yeah, I'm so glad I sent those two idiots to Ohio. Those two idiots got what they had coming. Oh my god, Fred. How could you send Shaggy and Scooby off to somewhere very dangerous? That's it. I'm calling the police. If you do that, I'll give you and Daphne concussions and send you two to Ohio as well. There, now the police are coming. Have fun in jail. Are you kidding me right now, Velma? Oh, oh, oh. You are both getting concussions. Whoa, 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 not so fast. Oh, whoa, 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 how dare you two restrain me? Let me go right now or I will destroy you both. Fred, we won't let you get away with this. Not again. We're going to wait here for the police and have you turned in. Come on, let's go outside and wait there. Alright, get in the police car or I will shoot. Okay, fine. You guys haven't seen the best of me, and you won't get away with arresting the unstoppable concussion beast. Alright, this is your cell, with no air conditioning, no heating, no mattresses, no blankets, no toilet, no running water, and no luxury of any kind. You will be in here for a long 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 time. Oh hey Fred, what are you in for? 